good to have you with us on this edition of The Last Word. One of the most prestigious colleges in Kolkata, Jadavpur University, witnessed dramatic scenes of protest, standoff, violence and drama. All because Union Minister Babul Supriyo was visiting the college to attend a seminar. The seminar was organized by the ABVP where issues like the NRC were meant to be discussed. But the function never happened. Instead, the minister was blocked, cornered, trapped, heckled and he claims he was manhandled. The situation became so tense and went on for so long, for hours together, that the Bengal governor had to rush in to rescue the BJP MP. Jadapur University, known as a left frontier, is the campus of heated student politics in Kolkata, in West Bengal. A campus that has seen protests even against the ruling TMC. But the question that we are asking tonight is whether the battleground in Kolkata college campuses is now being redefined by national politics. Before we get to the conversation, let us take you through the events as they unfolded in Kolkata today. Now remember the details are a little sketchy at this point of time, but we have tried to string together a minute by minute of what transpired since the time Babul Supriyo entered the campus. So he was invited to attend a seminar by ABVP at the Jadavpur University campus. He reached at about 1.45 p.m. And then he entered the campus through gate number three. That is where he was stopped inside but couldn't get to the seminar area. He was stopped allegedly by SFI protesters. For almost one and a half hours after that, from 1.45 to say roughly about 3.15, 3.30, the minister waited at the spot, argued with the student protesters, tried to converse with them, tried to get in and threw them to the event. There were slogans raised against him, black flags shown, students sloganeers saying, go back. There were some boards that were used asking him to apologize. But the protest against the minister, which was peaceful so far, suddenly then turned violent. Look at those visuals on your screens right now. Look at the way he was surrounded, cornered, there's obviously a little bit of security, but they can't do much there. This went on for hours together. He was slapped, pushed, honored and manhandled. The Vice Chancellor of the University reached the spot hours later. And that's another controversy. He then tried to take the minister towards the function area. But the minister alleges that if the college authorities really wanted, they could have reached earlier, the Vice Chancellor could have reached earlier, and controlled the situation. Take a look. You wait it till I get. This is the reason why institutions are this kind of criticism is being allowed. You should have been here first. You are the one who should, who should ensure that a debate takes place. You cannot create this atmosphere inside a college. No. No, it's not right. You are saying not right, sir. I am not going to walk with you. You should have been here. You knew this is going to happen. You waited till I get manhandled, physically assaulted, and then you are coming here to take me. I don't need your security. Now from about 1.45, 2 p.m. till about 7 p.m. when nothing else has worked, when the police has not been able to control the situation, the police barely seem to have reacted to what was building up in the Jadavpur University. When all of that has failed, when the vice chancellor has not been able to control the students or whoever it is uh, uh, that was creating ruckus there, then the governor had to step in. Imagine that, viewers. At about 7 p.m. in the evening, the governor reached the spot to rescue Babul Supriyo. Jagdeep Dankar issued a statement saying that he has spoken to the Vice Chancellor, calling it an unlawful detention of the Union Minister. That's what happened. Then once he reaches there, he somehow gets across to Babul Supriyo. He's then taken inside the governor's car. But at that very moment, protests turned violent. Look at that visual on your screen right now. Can you hear those hooligans yelling? screaming on top of a fire engine with sticks in their hand. For over an hour, if not two, both the governor and the union minister, Babul Supriyo, were trapped inside that car, unable to go anywhere. They finally then managed to leave the campus at about 8 p.m. This is what has transpired today at the Jadavpur University. 
We don't know who is responsible, who literally got this out of control, who are those people standing on top of the fire engine. But suffice to say that there seems to be an, an impact and an influence of the national politics that is now beginning to reflect even in the Bengal University campuses. Let's say good evening to our panelists, Bachra Sen, senior journalist, Bhaskar Ghosh, spokesperson for the BJP, Sai Balaji, president of the JNU Student Union, Dr. Indranil Khan, state vice president of ABVP, and I've got Tawasif Ahmed Khan, advocate and political analyst, and also Vivek Shivasa joining us uh, from our Noida studios. Uh, let me actually first go across to Bhaskar Ghosh and ask him, Bhaskar Ghosh, I don't know if you've managed to speak to Babal Supriyo or, you know, a, you know ha have gotten any feedback, but what went on there, whatever happened, is completely unacceptable. Absolutely. Today, uh I'm totally speechless and I'm really feeling ashamed to be a Bengali because the premier institutions of Bengal like Jadupi University, the Peasants University, the colleges, they are right now, it's symbolically it is a jungle raj going on. There is no administration, there is no safety of any students and top of that, today whatever has been happened whatever way the SFI and, uh, and AISA, they have manhandled the situations, go on rampage, and they have not spared our central minister, they have not mm. spared our leaders, uh, Agnimitra Paul, uh, Paul um, uh, and they have not spared anyone. And see the audacity of the students. I was in university in, around this, uh, uh, in foreign university also, I don't understand that how audacious this university student that they are slapping, they are kicking, they are manhandling a union minister. And ultimately the situation is so worse that the governor has to come, the vice chancellor, the chancellor has to come uh, and rescue the ministers. Mm. This we never seen in Bengal in last 70 years. And what is happening in the campus of different Colleges of Bengal, be it in college of the suburbs, college of the uh, rural areas, be it in uh, town area, be it in metro area, all the colleges are now the akhara of politics, akhara of, gundi, uh, of gundagiri over there, and a the lot of vandalism are going on in the college. No democracy left, and that is why I'm telling you, I am demanding a judicial inquiry a uh, uh, judicial inquiry and in CBI inquiry of all these things, what has happened in Jadapur perpetually. It is not the first time. Last time also when there was a movie uh, of uh, the Buddha um, uh, uh, is been showing that time also same thing has happened. Okay. And these so-called so, let, let uh, you know, student okay. politicians... Well, I, 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 I would agree with you completely when you say that this is only happening now. Bengal uh, has been a hotbed of student politics for a really long time now. Who, what are the two sides who are fighting can actually dif uh, be different. But uh, this kind of uh, 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 incident, I don't think is something new. Of course, a union minister had, uh, you know, uh, was the one who got trapped today. Union minister was the one who got mobbed today, uh, who got heckled and cornered. And a governor, when he was trying to get him out, imagine that a governor of his state had to rush in, try and get a union minister out, and he also got trapped in that car. Both of them were sitting in that car, uh, you know, checking their phones because there was nothing else that they could do at one point of time. Now, Babal Subriya says he was manhandled to the point that they broke his glasses, he was pushed, he was shoved. Now, who was doing this? And where was the Kolkata police all uh. this while? Why didn't the university call the Kolkata police and get things under control from 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock? This drama went on. Vivek Srivastava, should, be should this thana, be acceptable? Police thana is only 200 meters. See, see The police see. thana is okay. only 200 meters from yeah. the other. Imagine let that. Me, let me, imagine let that. Me. Yes. Because Vivek, I, go ahead, I please. I stay in the area. Yeah. So now, let me, let me speak. Let me speak. Please let me speak. Now, the first thing is... The first thing is, violence of any kind should be condemned. That is the first part. We are a democratic country. It's a free country. So any kind of violence, anybody hurting anyone else, whether it is a student or somebody else, that should be condemned. That is the first thing that I want to say. But the second thing is that, I mean, the entire media right now is giving only one side of the picture. What was Babul Supriyo doing over there? He is not answering. 
He is not able to tell us why the students wanted him to apologize. The ABVP was the one which instigated the crowd over there. And our reports tell us that the ABVP has also burned an SFI office. No, no, no. On what basis are you saying that so, ABVP I mean, instigated both, the crowd? So, so, no, no. On what basis are you saying the ABVP instigated? Just, no, no, it no, was no, their no, event. No. Why will yeah, they go and instigate me, anybody? Me, Why will they make, make create problems speak. for bubble supremacy? First of all, first of all, let us not believe only one way rhetorics. This is BJP style ABVP of politics. I'm not believing anybody's rhetoric. I'm asking you for facts and information. Please help us understand what is happening. Now they are going to go to every university and do this drama. One one minute. I don't want. I don't want people talking over each other. This is not that kind of a debate. Said anything, Mr. Shivasev. You know that, Mr. Ghosh. You know that. Please don't let your sentiments and your ideologies get in the way. Let's have a civilized debate. Otherwise, I will have to go across to my other panelists. We are against violence. Again, I'm saying. We are against violence. Hmm. We are against violence. We are not supporting violence. But let but are both you sides for heckling? Picture. Are you for heckling, blocking, uh, and manhandling absolutely a sitting not, minister? Absolutely not. The only thing I want to say is. But how did that no, happen? No, no, no. Absolutely not. We don't support it. The left parties don't support it. I, let the truth come out by tomorrow morning. However, the only thing I want to say is when I called right now and talked to the people over there, the students, I tried to contact them. They told me that the ABVP started instigating. Uh, they said things which was not acceptable. Babul Supriyo, the students wanted him to apologize for some remarks. Babul made an issue of it. Mm. You know, they made an issue of it the way they made an issue in JNU when they framed Kanaya who was innocent. It is their style of politics. They want to give a bad name to the left. That is the story. We don't even know who was involved as of now. Okay, Mr. Bhaskar Ghosh, you can respond now before I go across to our other panelists. In JNU, when you say... <coughs> <coughs> yes, go ahead, Bhaskar Ghosh. Tanvi, please ask him, in JNU, when they say that, that uh, Kashmir, uh, um, the Bharat Tera, Tukra Tukra, inshallah, 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 where this gentleman was um, that time? What are you talking about? The, the left parties stand for the integrity of India. The left parties stand for the integrity of India. We fight elections. We have been in the parliament. We have been in, Beng in power in Bengal, and, in Kerala, in Tripura, in Manipur. So don't teach India. us that. We are democratic that parties. Want to, However, you, want to you, you, you want to, when you cannot, and when you, you cannot you counter us by ideology, who, you try to well, create a false perception right? about us. Well, it is unfortunate what has happened right now. It is okay. Gentlemen, please, I'm going to ask the political representatives yes. to just take a deep breath. It is unfortunate that this happens if it happens in Jawaharlal Nehru University or if it happens in Jadavpur University or if it happens in Hyderabad University. It's simply unfortunate. Campus politics should exist. But this kind of violence, this kind of unnecessary uh, 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 drama is absolutely not acceptable. Now, let me go across to uh, two of our other experts. And Mr. Bachasen, I'm going to come to you first. Uh, what is your own reading of what has happened today? Is this also a reflection of the kind of you know, national level politics we are seeing, the standoff between BJP and now TMC and left on the other side? First of all, Tanvi, like all the others, uh, my fellow panelists, I would like to condemn violence altogether, unequivocally, irrespective of what happens. So I've done that. I do not think violence has any place in any sort of politics, be it student politics or electoral politics. That much having been said, I would like to remind you that during the elections in 2019 Lok Sabha elections. If you recall the elections in West Bengal, the campaign was suddenly cut short by the election commission after an incident in a college there where the statue of Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar was destroyed uh, or, uh, or damaged badly. And you had the campaign ending about whatever, 24 or 48 hours before scheduled. Now, that is the kind of, and that happened also in a college in Calcutta. That is the kind of politics that is, that is there in, in, the, in the campuses in uh, Calcutta as of now and perhaps elsewhere in India, but we are talking now about okay. West Bengal, so in Calcutta. There is a growing, there is first, so therefore it is nothing new. 
I disagree with Mr. Ghosh. It happened not 70 years ago. It happened a few months ago. Correct. He forgot that. That also involved the ABVP and, uh, and, and I don't know, perhaps some left students, I'm not sure, the other side, whether they were TMC. In fact, I remember now they were likely to have been TMC versus ABVP. I'm not apportioning blame on either side. Hmm. It happened. Hmm. Here also, this kind, in fact, this violence so far has been much less. That one forestalled or rather cut short an election, something as important as an election. So therefore, this is basically reflective of the politics, as you said, national level, but I would go so far as to say more closely at the state level in West Bengal, where the TNC is fighting a rearguard battle and the BJP and its associates are fighting so, an aggressive battle. Right. It, I would say both sides have... Uh, a right to do this, but not with violence. Not, not with, with violence. violence. Exactly. The you ABVP have the right to do all kinds of ca campus right politics, and practice discuss, and debate, uh, yes. uh, you but know, campaign, but, uh, but to resort to violence. The, 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 the left the union country. room, I'm being told, has been completely vandalized. You know, the walls were sprayed with ABVP. The boards were broken yes. down. There yes. were cycles that have been burnt, and we're going to show you those visuals as well, yes. uh, of, of the kind of violence that has unfolded. And this is not required. And I'm going to go across to Dr. Indranil Khan in just a bit to get a reaction of whether he thinks this is, should be okay. But first up, Tamal is joining us live. Uh, 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 let me go across to him and get a lowdown on what more have we been able to find out. Tamal, how did it get violent? How did it translate into this by 7 p.m.? Well, if you're asking me this, then my observation is, had police really acted on time? Had police intervened when the time was right? and the police had really tried to assuage the tension, possibly this situation could have been salvaged and saved to a great extent. When did this all start? It started around 3.30, quarter to 4. And when did this police intervene? Close to 8 o'clock. So think about the time difference. Uh, why? Because the vice chancellor of the university had kind of taken a vow after 2014 violence that happened inside the university campus, he will never ever call police inside the university campus. And without vice chancellor's requisition, uh, police really can't come in and intervene. Doesn't really matter how worse the law and order situation turns inside the university campus. If that is logic, then possibly police acted in all fairness. But if that is not logic, then police should be questioned for having seen everything so closely and for having intervened so late. That's one. Second of all, the students out there were extremely charged up. They're alleging Babul Shupriyo's presence over there had kind of charged them even further. And the very fact that Babul Shupriyo, by the way, he is, tried interacting with them, tried arguing with them, tried negotiating with them mm. and also tried reasoning with them had kind of made the situation even more volatile then many students did not uh, appreciate Babul Shupriya trying to be so pally with the protesting students and that's how people th things even turned further volatile and the third thing that I have seen that after this entire incident happened and after Babul Shupriya was held hostage ABBP students even too resorted to vandalism they vandalized the SFI uh, union room and just not that they even set a blaze several cycles uh, and other belongings that were inside hmm. the union room just to create a very, uh, uh, you know, uncalled for, shameful spectacle outside the university campus that too had further aggrieved the students of the university campus. Where all of them students, Tanvi, that's something that police should investigate. That's something all of, uh, 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 all the people are now demanding. Babul should so, specifically Tamal, very quickly, the there have been reports that suggest him, and you are saying that needs to be investigated. Uh, you are saying that there is a possibility that people from outside manage to enter, people obviously affiliated politically, to, uh, you know, to some party? Well, uh, Tanvi, you know, it's it's bizarre that the, the same faces you get to see every year. I'm sure every student has a time, li a time life in, inside an university or even in a college. Having covered Jadapur University for so many years, uh, you get to see the same old faces time and again. That raises your first suspicion. That's one. Second of all, you know, all the people who, are, who had assembled out there, uh, are not all of them could be university students because a section of university students are saying right. that fearing there could be something wrong, fearing that there could 
could be a, a fallout of Babu Shukri's presence in, inside the university campus. They were holding human chain to okay. give a safe passage to Babu Shukri. All can be of the same category, right? So all were not aligned to the same ideology. Yes, Babu Shukri is alleging that left ideology students and people uh, aligned to the left ideology had tried seizing the opportunity and take the situation hostage. But then again, it's a matter of investigation whether all of them were students. If not, how did outsiders come in? And if outsiders have come in, have they been identified if they been, uh, ha have been identified will they now be booked okay you know there are two two uh, Tawal, thanks so much for joining us for now of course and we will keep coming back to you for more updates but thank you for uh, you know uh, uh, joining us right now with uh, information on what we know now there are two sequences that I want to show our viewers before I go back to our panelists the first one is uh, is is where there is some amount of interaction happening between Babul Supriyo and the protesters the students who are there blocking his way to the point that they start singing, we shall overcome. So at one point, that's the kind of, uh, you know, confrontation that's happening. But very quickly, it then escalates into something else, when then there is uh, more aggression visible on these protesters or whoever these people are. Some of them are chanting, Jai Shri Ram. And um, frankly, that, that visual really infuriates me. That's a fire engine. After vehicles were set, cycles were set ablaze, property was vandalized. A fire engine is called in and look how it is being blocked and people are climbing on top of it. Dr. Indranil Khan, what's happening? Does anything justify this kind of behavior, this kind of vandalism and violence? Anything justify a person who is an artist, who is doing Dr. Indranil Khan, I'm, I'm really sorry, but we have a bad audio line with you. I'm unable to understand you at all, so we're going to fix that line and I'll come back to you. Let me take, uh, go across to Tosif Ahmed Khan, joining us right now, advocate and political analyst. Tosif, what's your own reading, you know, how, uh, what happened in Jadavpur today? That politics has encroached upon the student life of uh, uh, you, know, you know, in the inside the university, in a way that it turns so violent. You know, there is no place for violence. Uh, SFI students have every right to hold a peaceful protest and to disagree, to reject the ideology of Nathuram Godse. You see, this uh, this organ, this program was organized by ABVP, which is a student wing of RSS, and RSS is admired of Nathuram Godse and follows the ideology of Nathuram Godse. So every student have a right to reject the Nathuram Godse ideology and to accept the Gandhian philosophy. But when they cross the line, when you are pushing someone, that is wrong. And on top of it, how did the ABVP student react? It? What happened after 5 p.m.? What happened around 7 p.m.? That these people, uh, whether they were students or not, they, they, were, they are yielding stumps and sticks and they went on a rampage inside the college. The entire SFI uh, union room has been burned no, no, down, yet. and and you know certain it's properties have been set on fire. That's so it is totally press. condemnable. And how on earth did this happen in the presence of a union minister? Okay, one minute, gentlemen. I won't be able to hear a either union. of you. Also, both of you are on a little tricky technical connection. So one at a time, Un please. Let uh, Tosif yeah, finish, and on, then Dr. Khan, I'll come to you. A union office. minister. One at a time, please. Let Tosif finish, please. I'll come to you then. It, it is very surprising that, you know, in the presence of union, union minister, mm. the matter escalated. A union minister is a very responsible constitutional post. Correct. He is, for him, both the student, student belonging to SFI as well as people, student belonging to ABVP are equal. He can talk to them. He can... He can stop the matter from getting escalated. Him, he should, he should, uh, you know, prevent any provocation no, from so he was, he was trying Why to not? talk to them. So that's the sequence that I, you know, just played out. Yes. And he's yes. trying to have a conversation. These protesters yes. start singing. He's patiently he sitting there, there, listening to them, the trying to talk to them. He's actually one minute, one minute, one minute please. Let's not yell. Let's not yell. He's actually trying to tell these protesters, sing in Bengali. Come on, let's sing. Now we all know that Babul Sukhdeo himself. Himself, you know, has been a professional playback singer, so he's obviously also, you know, trying to maybe break the ice with them, cut the tension there, and interact with them in that manner. And, and I, I, I don't think we should be slamming him for that. But uh, uh, Indranil Khan wants to make a point. Can I just hear Indranil Khan, please, without any overlap? Yes. Everything is on record. You have seen 
how intolerant these people are. ABVP is gradually getting acceptance among the students of Jadavpur University. You have seen students of Jadavpur University making human change to give him passage. You have just heard with your own correspondent, Tamal. He has just said how things started, how things got, how the entire administration was slipping. There were students, there were professors. There was a central union, a union minister who was entrapped, who was taken hostage by a group of students. And one thing I want to tell you very clearly that whenever you say that Jadavpur University students oppose, that is totally wrong because that's a very small group, a small fraction of ultra leftists mm. of the Jadavpur University. They are a very small fraction. They are gradually losing their existence. And that's why they're so afraid. Mm. They're terrified that everybody is organizing their programs, a seminar with so much student participation. No, so, so you're totally saying terrified. if the ultra left totally uh, uh, group is so small in percentage, Indranil Khan. And have, you have seen your own video that you have Correct. seen. Correct. So who are Indian these minister. people who get out and manhandled? Uh, 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 Indian minister with his hair. You are okay. just unbuttoning, tearing his shirt. You are heckling him physically. How is that acceptable in a democratic country? Hmm. This okay, let me ask Vivek Shrivastava of that. Vivek Shrivastava, do you want to respond to that? How is this possible? And that this drama has gone on for six respond. hours? I want to respond. Where, where, where was the Kolkata police? Why didn't the university call the police to bring this under control? Yes. Vivek Shrivastava, please. Tanvi, please try to understand. Please try to understand. They are playing the victim card. They try to do something similar in JNU. These people, the, it is the ABVP which instigated the whole thing. Babul Supriyo was the facilitator and when it turned ugly, they are trying to capitalize on it. They did the same thing in JNU. How it is, is a pattern Supriyo that the they are following all over. How, the how, how did they organize this? Are they the ones protesting? Yes, he was a facilitator. Are they the ones Tanvi, who held a union minister, minister to ransom? Are they the ones who held a union minister to ransom? I talked, I, I asked Babul Supriyo. Okay. I asked Babul Supriyo on a TV channel. Yes. Just before I came to you, I asked him, why did the students want you to apologize? Please tell us. Yes. He had no words. Yes. He had no words. Why did they because want him to apologize? Because the ABVP and Babul Subriyo, they instigated, because, because he, he, they instigated, they said things which are not acceptable. Mm. When a few students started, they did, it, they did it on purpose. This was done on a purpose just to get political mileage and nothing else. Okay. Now, let, 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 let's, let's play out. Drama, let's to get first, political mileage and nothing else. First, let me just uh, uh, play out the first visual of Babul Subriyo entering the campus you know that for at around 1 2 p.m look at that this is how he's walking in calmly peacefully he's got people with him he's got his security with those guns walking alongside and there are these people now i don't know how this turns into an instigation that then gets a large group to corner him manhandle him and hold him to ransom there for six hours Everything was pre-planned. You just go through the Facebook posts of these persons. Mm. The persons who were holding him to ransom. You just go through the Facebook posts. They were instigating over the last one to two days in their Facebook posts to come and do some beating, some physical torture of the LGBT activists. You just go through the Facebook profiles of these people. The very people who are just holding, who were beating, who were scuffling with Babul Supriyo. Everything was pre-planned, orchestrated by them. They just actually called out a mob on so on social media oh, just go to the social against media violence pro of any kind media profiles the left parties are against the, the violence of any kind we don't support the so violence everybody says that Vivek Shrivastava but violence has happened and happened again and again i don't think violence okay, is new to kind of bengal politics we've seen it's unfortunate that this is happening in 2019 it's really unfortunate gentlemen please come on now let's not shout over each other this is not that kind of a the debate it's not that kind of a channel i've got some breaking news coming in let me just read that out please well, TMC has now issued a statement calling it an unfortunate incident between ABVP and Jadavpur University students. The party has said that it was shocking that the governor had to rush to rescue the minister at the college without informing the government. And he only called the chief minister when he was on his way. TMC is also now saying that it was not a law and order situation as the state police facilitated in taking the governor and BJP MP safely outside the campus. They also distanced themselves from the incident, calling it a face-off between ABVP and the Jadavpur University students. I mean, this is this is just getting more and more bizarre and more and more ridiculous. I I, I can't even imagine that this can be a defence, uh, you know, by the party that's governing the state, Bachchan. 
I mean, do you buy this? That, that they're saying that there was not a law and order situation, that they managed to get the governor and uh, minister out of that place? Well, after uh, union rooms were vandalized, cycles were burnt, things were broken down, and a minister was held ransom for six hours. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's an understatement. Of course, it was a law and order situation. It was, it was, if you, if you destroy property, if you set fire to uh, property, if you manhandle and beat up people, that is a deterioration of law and order. I mean, there's nothing more that can be said about it. Now, why the police didn't enter, one explanation is that they needed word from the vice chancellor, which... I would understand in normal circumstances would hold good. But the police needs to sometimes do what is quite commonly called a hot pursuit. If they suspect that there's violence going to es escalate and Calcutta is not unknown for its bombs going off, the police should have entered, irrespective, and later on they could have apologized to the vice chancellor or whoever it is. But I don't understand why the police didn't enter and cut, and cut short all this uh, rubbish that was going on. That's on the one side. The other side is uh, th those people you show constantly on top of the fire engine, mm. at least two or three of them don't look as if they're students. Right. They look, you know, almost as old as I do. I mean, it's probably a little younger, but they are not students. They are obviously outsiders. I do not know whether they were outside. They could not have been innocent bystanders wielding uh, cricket uh, uh, wickets, yes. uh, but uh, they are certainly not students. The, the, the point remains is... We've had a very violent election in West Bengal, a part of the Lok Sabha elections. And I am clear about this, that this kind of violence will visit itself on Calcutta time and again until the next election. I think there is a battle. I not think, I know that there is a battle going on between the BJP on the one hand and the Trinamool Congress on the other. I do not know where the left fits into this because they seem to have become a minuscule force in West Bengal. Mm. So I really don't know about the left. But it is going to be Trinamool versus the, the BJP and their student wing. And there's going to be violence. And the state has to be prepared, as also its police, to try and forestall this violence. But I don't see that happening as of now. Okay, Finally, let me quickly... the governor right. should not have gone in there. It is true. Why did he risk, Why right. did he risk his life? Why did mm. he not uh, appeal to the police? Why didn't he order the police in there? He didn't. So as chancellor, he supersedes the vice chancellor. He should have told the police to get in there. He didn't. That is strange. That's where I agree with the DNK. Yes, absolutely. That's a very valid question. Let, let me go across to Tosif Abad Khan. Tosif, do you agree that you know the and state uh, seems to have failed in doing its job, that the police should have reacted faster? If the governor can get there, the police commissioner, or at least top uh, Tanvi, police why officers... Why didn't the governor do his job in that case? It's, no, no, very, no, very, very valid question. I, I One at a time. Tosif Ahmed Khan first, please. Then I'll go to Vivek. Vivek, just hang on. Yes. No, very valid question has been raised by one of the panelists just now. That... If vice chancellor was refusing to call the police, governor is the ch as a chancellor could have called the police. There are protocols that have to be maintained before the governor, the governor steps did. out of the governor. And the governor did. The governor called the chief secretary and the police commissioner. We are told. And and then and then the police came into action. Yes. And then what what did what did Bobil Supriyo do? Did he follow the protocol? What was the reason he went to the university? See. Unless, unless people want to politicize the entire student wing and do politics of our universities and colleges and engage uh, students, the, you, you willingly want to do that, and then you will do that. You will find reasons to do it. I have a very simple question. Why can't we just leave the uh, uh, violence from uh, universities away? If, if, a, if a union minister present in the, uh, inside the campus and there are student, uh, student union present in huge number, then obviously he enjoys certain kind of influence. Right. He can use the influence either in a productive way or in a destructive way. Why didn't he use the influence in a productive way? You cannot just let go. You cannot just, you know, give a clinch it to the to the bubble to bubble Supriya himself. I am not uh, supporting any student, whether, it, whether they belong to ABVP or to any other, uh, uh, you know, student union wing. There's, there is no place for violence. But, then no, but how you know, I disagree say, with you when you say, this... why did the union minister have to go there? He is a union minister of this country. He is from West Bengal. He can, he, if he's been invited by ABVP for an event that they are organizing and holding legitimately <laughs> inside the university campus, why can he not go? 
And if somebody has a problem, you can peacefully not... protest. But if that peaceful protest but turns into a six-hour-long drama left, where you don't let him move, where you don't let him enter, where you don't let him attend the event, then that does reek of some amount of intolerance. Okay, Vivek, you also wanted to make a point. Vivek, go ahead, please. And then I have Sai Balaji also joining us. But first up, Vivek. Yeah. See, see, see. Tanvi, I want to ask you a very simple question. This drama went on for a long time. Again, I'm repeatedly saying the left parties don't support violence. But tell me one thing, if the governor was there, as you said, he's the chancellor, he could have superseded the vice chancellor, he could have arranged for the police to come. Why did the governor not act? The governor did not act. So it means, I mean, I, I'm not, I, I do not support the beating of anyone at all. But then this is the style in which the ABVP and BJP works. They go, they create a sensation, they create a story, you know, and normally the story is very much anti-left. They are doing it in so many universities. Mm. JNU has been a prime example, and next it is this one. And be very sure they are going to repeat it in other places also. Mm. So, I mean, it is not a one-sided story okay. where an innocent union minister went and he was all goody-goody over there for the students and suddenly certain bad students came and they started beating him up. This is not the right narrative. The right narrative is that the union minister went over there and there was instigation by the ABVP and the union minister and the law and order situation. Well, right now, Vivek Shivastav, it's your narrative, narrative in your version versus what the ABVP or the BGP has to say. Uh, it is only after, you know, fair amount of independent investigation that we can really find out what happened. But I want to go across to Sai Balaji. And uh, uh, Sai, this, you know, this is something that you've seen in your campus. This kind of um, ugly politics standoff that then converts into some amount of violence as well. Uh, does it show intolerance at some point just because Tanvi, you don't agree uh, with the Tanvi views Tanvi of a union minister, you're not going to let him enter the campus? Tanvi, if you remember last year, exactly, I think it was on the 18th or 19th, you invited me for a show where the ABVP members, after they lost the election, they attacked me in the night and in the police in the police station they brought a mob where they tried to burn me alive. The question here that we are speaking is everyone has a right to dissent, everyone has a right to protest against any person whom they like or they don't like, the views they accept or they don't accept. The point that everyone, I mean I just joined the show but uh, I've been following the Twitter trends and everything. The point that is being missed over here, the students who were protesting against Babul Supriyo did not burn burn any officers. They did not uh, bring the, uh, they did not bring lattes. They did not break anyone's head. They did not vandalize anything. But ABVP, when they did not like the protest, they burned down the union hall. This is the truth. They brought in sticks. They brought in hockey sticks. They yeah. broke the heads of the student. Just like in every university they do, just like in Dusu, where they do, but where they break students' head because they don't like, they don't, they don't vote for a BVP. Last year, last year we witnessed, and this year in the January election, before in the presidential debate, a BVP people hit students, uh, hit students, and they broke a skull of a student who was. Okay, bleeding. but can you honestly say, Sai? Can you honestly the, uh, say, and we've had several conversations yeah. about this in the past as well, like you said. Can you honestly uh, say that you believe that it's only one side that indulges in violence every single time? That it's never happened before the rise of, uh, you know, ABVP or BJP Absolutely. in West Bengal? Absolutely. In West Bengal, we've seen Absolutely. this kind of violent instances, uh, even in campuses earlier. When it Forget was the left versus the TMC, the same thing has Sammy. happened. And the Sammy. fact of the matter Sammy. is that they managed to hold Sammy. the union minister Sammy. at Forget one place for happening. so long. Forget. For No, forget the ma uh, right now. You the point that you have raised about Jadapur yeah. is important. Yeah. They have been protesting against the minister, but what did ABVP do in return? Do they have the right to burn anyone's uh, burn a university down, beat them down? Do they have the right to threaten a student and burn their lives and uh, threaten their lives over there? Forget about what has happened in Jadapur. Do we know what ABVP has been doing all over the country? Where they were in power and where they have not been, par, where they have not been in power. Delhi, Delhi University is not far away from me. Uh, last year and this year, ABVP continuously attacked ISA activists and other students in Dusu elections this year. 
Why is it that whenever there is a BJP government in power, whenever the RSS is backing the BJP, ABVP feels that they don't have they, they 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 have the complete impunity to go on a spear of violence. The reason they do it is because they cannot debate, because they don't have answers, because they cannot answer the questions of the student, and for them, violence is the only answer. That is the reason they that that is how that is th uh, through which they wish to silence any questions, any debate, any answers that students have. Why is it that again and again, again and again? Uh, country, uh, state after state, place after place, university after university, it's only ABVP that is being accused. Okay, there let me ask ABVP that. That their intellectual capacity right. so, or their so, so, ability Sir, let, to let's get a response fight. from the ABVP. Dr. Indranil Khan, do you want to respond yeah. to what Sai Balaji is saying? Sure, sure, sure. ABVP comprises, he wants to claim that ABVP comprises the most intellectual retarded people. Come on. Stop such uh, living in a fool's paradise. Okay. Don't think that people out here are just uneducated people. Most of the students of Jadavpur University are now supporting the I'm not saying you're uneducated. Because... Absolutely, I'm not saying you're uneducated. I'm, t I'm telling you, don't want people to get educated. That is the reason you, you allow violence to be increased in universities. You allow universities to become battlefields because you don't want universities to uh, teach students education. You want them to be in the hands of Adani Ambani. You want them to be your yes masters. You don't want the, uh, the culture of debate and discussion in universities. That is the reality. And you cannot deny that. Why can't ABP students stand and answer the questions of students if they have a problem? Why can't and they participate in a democratic debate and defeat the students if they are if their ideology is so strong okay okay he's on a tricky connection Balaji, uh, sai balaji so let him respond now let's just listen to him uh, for a couple of uh, minutes uh, uninterrupted yes right. dr indranil khan what is it that you are so scared about abvp as a students organization thinks of the entire country it is uh, it, it thinks of students with divergent views to include them all in the development of the nation as a whole. Maybe well, we let's, let's, not, let's not kid ourselves. Let's be realistic here. Let's, we all know, we've all seen what has happened at JNU in the last Student five years. We year. still remember, and those visuals, we were just running for our viewers just a short while ago of what the kind of violence that unfolded after the uh, campus elections in JNU last year, what uh, Sai Balaji was talking about. And that was ugly. It's not the first time in Jadavpur University as well. So while on one hand, it is not correct to mob, manhandle, corner and trap a union minister who is visiting and at, uh, for, to attend an event in a university. You can protest by all means. How can you hold somebody, literally trap somebody for six hours like that and that to a sitting minister? Questions must also be asked of the state government and the police as well as the management and the authorities of Jadapur University. What were they doing all that while? from 2 o'clock to at least 7 o'clock when the governor reached there. Why didn't anybody else react while Babul Supriyo alone was trying to handle that crowd, confront them, speak to them, talk to them, try to calm them down? And then why did it turn ugly? Were there outsiders who were allowed to come in, who managed to sneak in and trigger this violence? Who started the violence? People need to be held accountable because otherwise you're going to see more and more violence unfold in the state of West Bengal as the politics takes front stage between BJP on one side and the left and the TMC on the other side. Completely unacceptable. Look at those people standing on the fire engine behaving like hooligans. This is not what our campuses are meant for. This is not what our colleges and universities are meant for. Debate, discuss, listen to each other, get educated, learn. Don't make it a battleground like this. Completely out of time, I'm going to thank all of our panelists for joining us on this big debate.